Hello everyone. In this video I show how to build this double walled hollow octahedron of edge count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It can be built with 212 Zen magnets. So you can build it with just a single set of, of Zen magnets. It's a particularly beautiful but simple shape to build. The octahedron has eight four triangles, eight triangular faces, four on this side and four on that side. Or you can look at it this way, eight on this side, or four triangular faces on this side and four on that side. It's a very beautiful and symmetric shape. The uh, double-walled hollow octahedron can be built in a large number of sizes. Shown here are double-walled octahedra of edge count 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, and 22. To build the uh, hollow octahedron with edge count 7, we consult this table. And this table, uh, a copy of this table is included in the written description. Um, and this is the one that we want to build. It has edge count 7. We'll need a 2 by 5 layer. I'll explain what that means and a 2x6 layer, and the, the total thing requires 212 magnets. Building it in other sizes is as simple as consulting uh, with this chart to see, first of all, how many magnets you'll need uh, and what, this, what the configurations of these two layers would be. Anyway, we need a 2x5 and a 2x6 so for layer 1 and layer 2. To build a 2x5, I make a filled hexagon. Looks like that. So it's, it's six, a six magnet hexagon filled with a magnet in the center. Then I wind another ring around that hexagon. That's what I call a three by three hexagon. Then on every other um, side of the hexagon, I'm gonna add two magnets like that. So I've extended one, two, three of those sides to form this two by five hexagon. I need two of these. Then I need two two by six hexagons and those are built by starting off with the three magnet triangle like that and adding a layer, a ring of magnets around that. So you can see one, two, three magnets that were this, the three magnet ring that I started with, and then this outer ring that I've added to it. Add another layer to that, or add another ring that, and you end up with a three by four hexagon. Then add two magnets to each of the short sides, leaving a two by six hexagon. We need two of these. Then the next step is to build uh, the top and the bottom faces. This is the very bottom face, and this is the second, la this is layer one, the bottom, and this is layer two, the next one up from it. Holding layer one in place and placing layer two on top of it so that it covers it up in a symmetric fashion. That's what we get for the bottom two layers. We'll also need to build the top two layers, but in this case we need to turn them both over before we put them together in order to get the polarity right. Then holding that one, put the one over the other, and those are the two top layers. Let me set those aside for now and start again with the bottom layers. The next step is to add a ring of magnets to the outside of this structure. Outside and above. So you can see that the magnets that I've added are mostly above the outside ring, but a little bit to the outside of it. Then we add a, another ring inside the ring that I just added. 
and then square up the corners a little bit. So you get a structure that looks like this. Then we do the same thing again. Add a ring of magnets above the outside ring, and then add one inside, just inside the one you just added. And then square up the corners a little bit. So you mush them in like that. Okay, then do it one more time. Then again, firm up the corners until we have a structure that looks like this. You know that you're done adding these layers when you see that this edge has length 3 and this edge has length 5. Then the next step to finish off the build is just to add the top. And to do that, we match up the, the top and lay it on. And then the final step is to add a magnet to each corner. The top three corners and the bottom three corners. And that is a very lovely octahedron with edge count seven. Just a quick note on building this shape in other sizes other than the edge count seven. For example, if we wanted to build it with an edge count of 10 and we have 524 magnets, then the way to proceed is first to build layer one. Layer one is always built starting from a filled hexagon. That's always our starting point for layer one. Then we're going to add another ring to that forming this three by three hexagon. Then on every other side of the hexagon, we'll add two magnets. And this is a two by five, which is exactly what we needed for edge count seven. But we don't want edge count seven, we want edge count 10. We need a two by eight. So in order to do that, add another ring around the outside. There's one side, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you get six uh, sides each time series symmetric. Then add two magnets to the short sides and see what we have. Lo and behold, it's a two by eight and that's exactly what we need for the edge count 10. Uh, we also need a, a two by nine. The uh, layer two always starts off with a three magnet triangle. This starting point, like we did in the for edge count seven, wind another ring around that, wind a ring around that, then another ring around that, three, four, five, six, and add two magnets to each of the short sides, giving us a two by three, four, five, six. But we don't need two by six; we need two by nine. So we're going to add another ring. We just keep adding rings, complete rings, and then adding two to the short sides in each case until we get up to the required size. So this is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two by nine. It's exactly what we need for the bottom, uh, for layer two. So now here's layer one, and here's layer two, and I need, uh, this is my bottom layer, this is my second to lowest layer. I just need to put this layer two on top of layer one in a symmetric way, and that forms the bottom two layers. And then I think you'll see how it proceed. Uh, for the, the top two are exactly the same, except they're flipped over, and then just adding magnets until um, you can put the top layer on, and, and that's it. So you can build this in a, in a large number of sizes um, to your heart's content and um, depending on how many mags you have.